Happy Monday, everybody. I'm gonna work outside instead of working in the shop right now. So I'm in the process of uh, taking off the snow blower, and we think the snow's done, but we always get big snowstorms in April. We always get at least 12 inch storm. And we, two years ago, we got a 20 inch storm. So I'm not gonna bury the snow blower too deep because I might have to get it back out. But today I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so the snow blower comes off. I'll set that over there. Then the, the blade, I'll hook on the blade, move it over there. And I'm trying to get, I'll get back to the sweeper here. So today I'm going to sweep my, my lawn and uh, get that done. And what I do is I brush it. I, I try to, if there's not a lot of sash, then I brush it going in reverse and it fluffs it up. And then after I brush it, after I make each pass, I drop the brush and I drag it and it brings the grass right up. Just makes it look completely, the, the snow packs it down and it's just flat as a pancake. And it, this, if you go forward with it, it gets a lot of the topsoil and you end up with a lot of debris. But if you brush it going backwards, it just fluffs it up. And then I go make it go forward and I bring it back and I drag that brush and it's almost like, comb in your hair it just brings it right straight up so it really makes a day and night difference and another thing I'm going to do today as I've been going to do is with the snow blower off I'm going to put the blade on after we get done with the brush and I'm going to show you guys how I made the side wings for the blade um, this is one of my most viewed one of my most viewed videos is is people loved how the side wings went worked so I'm going to actually do a couple little sketches and show you and I'm going to actually show you how how they mount and how they go on there and how, how you can make them how you can make them yourself and I used 18 gauge sheet metal to keep them light duty they got a lot they got bracing in there so I mean they work perfect so we'll do that too today so okay so for now this is the first little part of our morning that I'm going to do uh, work outside it feels good it feels good to be outside so okay we'll catch you guys later. Hi everybody. Got the sweeper on. Time to clean the yard. And uh, if you have heavy thatch, you want to be more aggressive than I sweep forward. But if it's less thatch and I just want to fluff it up, I'll actually sweep the broom and drive backwards and then go faster or slower on how much I want to fluff it up. So the first couple passes I'm going to go forward so you'll see that it's more aggressive. And then I stop the broom and I back drag it to bring the grass up. So that's, that's what I'm going to do right now. Make two passes going forward. You'll see how much, how much thatch I get. So, okay.
dealer told me that this would not fit on my my new tractor so it's set here for a couple years and I didn't use it but uh, I uh, one day I said well when, when, one of the, somebody wanted to buy it and they wouldn't give me much for it and I said well before in fact he came over to buy it I can't sell it that cheap and so I said I'm gonna actually actually I'm gonna actually try to put it on this and maybe make an adapter for it to fit and I'll be darned if this thing didn't just bolt right on I mean quick the quick quick attach went right on it and it it's worked perfect so I didn't have to do nothing to it so so anyway come over here Deb maybe get a little bit of a front shot these bristles now are like seven hundred dollars to replace them and I have I have an extra set of bristles that were that they're now seven hundred dollars and I was gonna sell this for seven hundred dollars so I'm very glad that I kept it. So we'll post this on there and kinda of, any of you have any questions about how you use a broom, uh, this maybe will give you a little bit of an idea. There, you can kind of see where I did the aggressive side going forward and all the facts that I got. And then you can see on the, the south side where I, I did the sweeping in reverse and it didn't get it quite as aggressive. So now what I'll do is I'll take the backpack blower and I'll clean that all up and the, the front yard will be done. The spring cleanup will be done. And let's see, Deb, if you stand right here and point this this way, you can see that you can see that I I did this part of the yard already. I, the grass is so thin here because we drive so much stuff on it that uh, so all I do in the back here is I sweep it going backwards so it's not so aggressive, and then I'll take the backpack blower and kind of clean it. But you can see a couple spots here where I didn't do it yet, kind of laying right flat. You can see some spots over there by the gator that I haven't done yet. So I'll sweep that all up and that'll bring it all up and bring her back to life for spring. So, so that's it, you guys. This is how I do my, my spring cleanup. 
and uh, we'll uh, catch you later.